Morning guys, welcome to the video action pack one today. We've got two jobs, small one first, get in, get out, mobile go, which I was talking about in my last video. And then we're at a big job for a good rest of the day, basically. We've got mowing, hedge cutting, all sorts of stuff to do there. You have been there on the video before, but we're going back because we've got a load of stuff we want to do. I'm just waiting for my dad and Harvey today. I've got them two helping me. There'll be three of us, which is really cool. I can't get out, far too close to the bloody <laughs> I bought you a little something for when it gets really hot. You put it bloody good actually. It protects the back of your neck from all the sun. And you, you put it on there like that and you pull that and uh, you get like they missed the grim spell. Right. <laughs> <laughs> actually, do you know what? When you've got it on the back of your head though, like I think I saw you wearing one the other day when it was hot, yeah, not like I went today. Down the beach, I wore it. And you said the air blows around the back and it acts like a cooling thing. Yeah. Well, it's so light at the back anyway, you don't even know it's on. But That's wicked. Feel the breeze whip around the back, it's quite nice. Yeah, cool, man. All right, we're in the van. We're ready to go for the day. Unfortunately, we have got a busy day on today, so we're going to have to crack on. We ain't got any time to stop or get anything, you know. No, we ain't got um, no. Oh. We haven't got any time to stop today. We've got lots to do. We've really got to press on. We're going to be up against the time all day long. Hmm. A lot of. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so we're on site now, and this is the job we're working at, and this is what we're doing. Normally, we'd have the John Deere on this bit, but for whatever reason, we've got it on the shortest setting, and it just won't take off the daisy heads. So I've said to my dad, we're going to get the Honda Pro. He's going to have to mow all of this, all of that, and all around the skate park, and all over there with the push mower today. It's going to take a bit longer, but it's going to look nicer, nice and stripy. I'm just strimming this grass here, and I'm strimming around all the edges, under the bushes, trees, and things nooks and crannies and then once we've done that we're going to be tackling all the side and hopefully some of the top of this hedge here it's all the way down the other side of the field as well i missed one week last week where i had like a bit of time off working just to recharge the batteries and that and it's amazing how very quickly a garden that looks so well maintained can look like a sack of shit so but we're going to turn it around we're going to make it look really amazing and just crack on with it so let's go <laughs>
go, Harvey. Hey, yeah, look, he's got some stripes going. He's just done this bit, I'll just let him loose on it. Uh, it's good for him to practice, you know. Yeah. What are you running for? What are you doing? Are you in my Chris, it's launch time, isn't it? Good plan. Sorry about that. Christ, we're getting so into the work, we forgot it's lunch time and you have to stop and have something to eat, mate. Jeez, what a panic that was. Stay hydrated, drink plenty of water, eat some food. And yeah, because it's very, very easy, especially when you're on a big job, you get kind of sucked into the, just got to plod on and get it done, mate. You'll get it done. You just need to make sure you refuel. Remember, your body is like a car, and if it's running on empty, you just ain't going to be able to give, you know, 100%. And you want to give 100% to do a really good job. So we're going to have a quick refuel, and then we're going to crack on with the rest of that hedge and the other bits and pieces that we're doing. So, and then once we've done all that, I'll give you guys a little walk around and show you what we've done. Oh, shit. Fuck, what's that? <laughs> Fucking, oh. Oh, you get. <laughs> that must have been someone the other day, mate. They yeah. put this bloody toy spider up on here. Oh, Christ. <laughs> I thought it was a bloody real one. And I hate spiders. Christ. If you're new into garden maintenance or gardening or anything, I know this isn't a teaser and I feel a bit bad using your teaser to mulch up, but honestly, it does the job fine. Why pick up bags of this stuff, rake it up? Why rake it up and bag it up when you can just use this, blow it to sawdust and then blow it off? Such a game changer, mate. Honestly, it saves so much time, especially when you've got masses and masses and masses still to cut. So, yep, get mulching, guys.
time again. Right, the sides are all done now and we're just starting on the top of this hedge. It's super wide, so what I'm just going to do as far as I can reach today, like this side, all the way along. And then what we'll have to do next week is see if we can get the extension bar or we'll go around the neighbour's side and cut their half of the hedge. We'll have to see. I'll have to see if I can get permission. Hopefully they won't mind. It's a bit of a pain, isn't it, when you've got one hedge like this and you're sharing it with the neighbours. You're kind of hoping that the neighbours are going to be fine because I've had so many experiences where, like, for example, my customer will say, cut the top of the hedge, but then the neighbour on the other side will say, we don't want you to do it, you know. I'm just waiting. Honestly, you can. I get this gut feeling that these neighbours are going to have a problem with me cutting the top of the hedge. <laughs> It's pissing down, so we're just having five minutes. I've taken shelter in the little greenhouse. I didn't think it was going to rain today. I know it's not like heavy, heavy, but it's like fine, spitty rain that just soaks you through, isn't it? So we cut all this lawn. That's all looking nice and tidy. Done all the edges over here done all this as well as always always make this lawn look really really lovely harvey's been spreading some chip bark on the beds all of that's been mowed we've shaped up some of these as well so that's all looking nice and cool yeah this bit's all been nicely mowed around the skate ramp so that's pretty cool all of that as i say this is where i'm leaving it today we've done all of the side i've done this small section of the top from there all the way along to this point some of the stuff you can see behind is the other side i just can't reach some bits i could reach other bits i couldn't reach so what we're going to do face off this side all the way along next week and then we're going to go around the neighbor's side hopefully if they don't mind and i'll have to check in a minute whether we can or can't and we'll do the rest from the neighbor's side just to take off any of the stragglies and then once we've done all of that then we will be working down that side of the head the field side basically and doing all the top of the hedge there as well but it's a massive job honestly it's a big old hedge job this one so i've just been next door to speak to the chap about doing the other side of the hedge from here side <sighs> yeah he's not too happy about it so by my understanding the guy that was here last year was doing the hedges and he did size and top not a problem but he was doing it all from this side now i can't reach i've got the carbon fiber extension bar but it's still just a little bit too far in places and i can't quite reach so we said or i said to my customer i think it's easier if i just go along my side and then go around his side with the ladder because it's safety i'm thinking of my safety and we'll just cut the top from his side we'll clear up any mess that we make it's not going to cost the neighbor any money whatsoever but yeah he was a bit of a karen about it he didn't really want me going around onto his property to do his side of the hedge and i just thought well how's this going to be resolved then because my customer wants the hedge looking nice sides and top and everything i can't reach the full top from her side so i need to go around that side to do it oh mate honestly it's one of them i don't really want to get into like a neighborly dispute between neighbors about the height of hedge and all this but it, it happens so often in our industry so next week's going to be fun i will keep you updated with that because i'll be back here so i want to film me doing the top and the rest of the hedge but oh, mate how's this one going to pan out i've had it so many times and i just don't need it i just want to come in do my job and get it done right we're done for the day we've just done a little mow below go nothing special didn't really see the point of filming it just wanted to get it done and knock it on the head you know what it's like end of a busy day you just don't want to be faffing around so i'll put a little picture here of the after it looked really nice customer will be happy um yeah it was a really good day really enjoyed it Bobby and dad have gone busy day oh i'm shattered right as i say ending the video thanks for watching guys wish me luck next week with the karen take care peace out